Hello, in this video we're going to do a brief introduction to the Kong drum designer. This is going to be part one of a two or three series uh, video collection on using Kong. This one here should just be enough to uh, get you up and running and laying down some drum tracks if you're new to Reason and Kong. So with that we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, in the browser here at the very top you've got Kong as the first one. You can double click on that and it will load into the Reason rack. You can also drag over to the rack and it is now loaded. So it's just as simple as that. You should be able to play the drums on your MIDI keyboard straight away. So, um, I don't have a MIDI keyboard connected so I'm going to F4 and bring up my on-screen keys. And there you are. Okay, so Kong is a 4x4, four four, or has a 4x4 four four matrix, uh, 16 pads here, similar to the MPC. Um, this is the main area and where you load your sounds. Up here, you've got the kit name display. Now, if you click on that, you can scroll through kits and choose there. Uh, over in the browser again, if you double click on Kong Kits and say choose the um, Club Kits and you load, say, the cinematic. Now when you click on the name display, it's going to show you the kits that are within the Club Kits folder. So that essentially changes. We'll go back up one, choose House Kits, load the Deep House, and you can see now this corresponds to the folder that we're in there. So this, the name display, I closed that browser with F3. The name display just provides you with a convenient, quick access to the kits within the folder you're working in. You can also step down using these arrows you can also use the down and up arrow on your keyboard so I'm going to hit the down arrow and we are loading the next clip or kits in line okay so that's the name display area um, you've got your pitch and mod wheel this is the drum control section this, these are more macro controls uh, so we've got the bass drum one here you can adjust the level. You've got a name. It's going to tell you drum one for the pad. If I click on snare drum two, that changes to two, three, and so on. This also is going to tell you the drum, the particular drum sample that is in each cell you are in. You've got pitch and decay. Uh, you've got send control levels, pan and tone, and I'll go over each of these in more detail in part two. And at the right, top right corner you've got your master master level with a, a lead meter and some pad settings here which I'll also spend more time going into in depth in part two. As far as drum samples, um, Reason does come with its own samples. So if I double click on the Kong patches, you see there's a folder here for Kong sounds and samples. Now if I double click on that, you have then individual folders where you can double click that and since this is one thing to note if you'd like to load and one of those samples into a cell you see how this is highlighted in orange we are we have the kit selected for browsing so individual samples are not available in that mode what you would need to do is be sure that you've got a pad selected go over to the drum patch browser now once that is highlighted and you can see up in the left browsing drum patches now you can then 
go through and I'm for some you know I like using my keyboard for choosing sounds and just navigating reason in general so I'm gonna use my down arrow and you can just scroll through using the up arrow you can go up now mine are playing as soon as they're highlighted because I have auto checked if you don't have auto checked and you select that you're not going to hear anything you have to press play this will give you auditioning volume and raise that up I'll turn the auto back on okay and so once you have something highlighted that you are happy with and you'd like to use you can press the load button or you can simply double click now see we're on pad one so I'll double click and now this has changed to represent what we have just uh, chosen BDR kick so if you pay attention to this name here I'll double click on the BD air and now that's loaded into the pad if you would like to change below here to be more accurate or to help you recognize what's in the cell, you simply double double click. And I'll type in BD Air and hit enter, and you're done. As far as the samples that the Kong drum designer supports within Windows, you can load uh, Wave, AIF, MP3, AAC, M4A, and WMA files and if you are on a Mac there's actually a lot more that are supported and too many that I'm you know that I'm not going to go into if you'd like to know specifically just refer to the reason manual Kong also supports sound fonts those are .sf2 files and it will also load Rex slices into these cells and those are .rx2, .rex, and dot RCY. Okay, what else would I like to talk about? Um, now, if you want to use your own samples, I'll just cover that real quickly and you move away from the uh, drum samples that come with Reason, and which I recommend experimenting with and using your own. Go out and record some of your own sounds or some there are sites online where you can download free field samples download some of, some of those uh, or record your own sounds and put them on your hard drive and experiment you with using some of those for your drum sounds this is a really great way um, to come up with unique sounds and and drum samples that no one else has you know a lot of people are using the stock ones that come with Kong but let's load one into this one here I'll browse drum patches and go to the browser here I'm gonna navigate to my desktop I'm just going to where I have my field samples Okay, I'm going to choose that door. Turn that up a bit. See, now I have this door field sample. Close that within here. And if I want to edit that, I can click here. This will show that I have an NN Nano sampler that that field sample has been loaded into. If I would like to make some changes to that sample, I just click on Edit Sample. And now you have, you can see a visual representation of the waveform for that door close, which is what it is. And you can play there. And I, I actually didn't mean to go this far into this, but I'll briefly cover the sample editor here. I, I'm going to do a whole video going over all of the controls in here so look out for that I'm gonna use the start and end selectors and go to where I want that initial transient and move the end there I'm gonna select crop and I'm going to normalize raise those levels up 
and I'll just save this, give it a new name. And I'll double click here. And so now you've got a sample here that you can use. And you can do all sorts of tweaking with this. If you send it out on an individual channel, you can add effects in the mixer. You can also, uh, there are some effects that you can use here. And I'll cover that these in uh, part two for Kong. So just know that you can load your own samples. You don't have to just stick with the stock ones that come with Reason. With these pads, one other thing I'd like to mention is they are velocity sensitive as far as where you're clicking at vertically. So down, as far as MIDI information numbers are concerned, it starts at 4 and all the way at the top is 127 for the velocity. So you see it gets louder. And that will just help give you a better idea of the dynamics, um, how those are going to change based on uh, velocity information. Sometimes there may not be a change, but um, other times there will be. Okay, um, I'll drag or open up the browser again. One other thing you can do with samples is you can you can also just drag and drop them onto there. Okay. And then this, again, gives you a visual representation of the sample that you've loaded, so then you can then move your start and end markers and crop to the area that you'd specifically like to use on that cell. For playing the pads, um, they start at C1, so pad number one. I'll bring up my on-screen keys. You see I'm on C1. Z and X moves this down. And I have a video on using the on-screen piano keys if you would like to know more about them but I'm just going to be sure that I'm on C1 since I am then A starts on pad 1 S 2 you can see that these move up like so if you're using a MIDI keyboard then uh, the keys will just follow up as you go along now, starting at C3, I'll um, go up C. I'm now on C3. If you start at C3, then the first three adjacent keys are going to play the same pad. So it's very small up here, but the first three piano keys are going to trigger the same pad. So I'll press A, W, and S, all trigger pad one. Now starting with E, I'm doing, that's a bad example, but. But you can see here, the three adjacent ones will trigger, trigger the same uh, pad. And this will help you if you have any fast, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? If you want to, you know, record a snare uh, really quickly, then it can help you out in that way. And also regarding samples, you can, I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'll cover that in part two in more detail. But you can also, you don't have to choose samples that are saved on your hard drive. You can also just record a sample live. And if you choose a cell, you've got this icon here, which is the sampler. Um, you can click 
and uh, it will just record whatever you have set up to your microphone input for that sampler and then stop it um, and it will be there you can also click and hold if you click and hold it will record for as long as you hold down the left mouse button I'll release the left mouse button and it will stop now if you would like to access the samples um, that you've recorded or added from your hard drive what you can do is open up the browser and over here you can go to song samples assign samples because we you know anything that you have assigned to these pads would be in assigned samples if you record samples or bring them in from your hard drive they'll also be in the self-contained samples folder but we're just going to stick with assigned samples here's your Kong now with the drop-down menu these are the samples that I brought in you have quick access to them this is highlighted if I want to edit it I click edit and you have your sample editor again the same as if you were to access it from this area here you just have another option this could be a quick way if you want to look at all of your samples and just go directly to the editor from here you've got them right in front of you okay I'll close that and then all self-contained samples really what you're gonna find here is anything that you brought in from your hard drive or that you have recorded um, not the samples the drum samples that you're using from the reason refill file um, those don't show up here okay and so I think for part one I'm gonna stop here you should be uh, good to go for starting to lay down some drum tracks and uh, look out for part two where I'm gonna cover in detail everything else uh, the, the pad settings these modules down here and uh, just show you a few other tricks and tips for using the Kong drum designer and thank you for watching